Hey, I'm Alec with Matter Hackers, and today I'm going to walk you through enclosures. So, what is an enclosure? An enclosure is a box or assembly that goes around your printer to keep the hot air in and the cold air out. Now, why might you want this? Well, with ABS prints, if you don't have an enclosure, you're going to end up with splits or cracks or it warps far away from the bed. Because the difference between ABS and PLA is PLA has low warp, minimal shrinkage, and relatively low temperatures, whereas ABS has the potential to warp a lot, it shrinks a lot, and it's got to be 30 degrees hotter in the nozzle and relative about uh, 110 degrees Celsius on the bed. So once I printed this with an enclosure, went from this part full of splits to this part without any and with a super smooth finish. With PLA prints, you can have a very fine footprint. So this part would be no problem on ABS, but these little spines would have a problem. You'd have to have a brim and then you'd have to trim that off, which is fine, but that's just the difference you have to play with when you're using ABS. In addition, ABS is a bit more flexible and durable than PLA. So here I have an ABS print, this one was a fail, but still got some bend to it. If you try to do this with, a, with, uh, with PLA, snap in half. This PLA print, if I just press on it a little bit, I can already start to hear it cracking. So this has no give whatsoever, and that's one of the differences between PLA and ABS. Where PLA shatters, ABS will bend, change color a bit, and then break, which could be something you want. This Lil Spot Taz 6, all of its 3D printed parts are ABS. So th that is a material that you'd want to use if it is for some sort of mechanical purpose, or you need something wear resistant, or you need something with high temperature resistance. Because if you leave a PLA print in your car, you're not gonna come back to the same shape. So all that being said, Let's go to the build. For this build, I used four half inch PVC elbows with a side outlet, four adapters for half inch thread to half inch pipe, duct tape, optionally some Velcro, PVC cutters, a tape measure, one roll of three feet by 50 feet, four mil plastic sheeting, and two 10 foot lengths of half inch PVC pipe. I started out by measuring the lulls about TAS 6 from the side of the power supply box to a little past the end of the spool holder. And then I measured from as far back as the bed could go to as far forward as I could go. And then I rounded it to the nearest quarter inch. From there, I made a cut sheet so I could figure out where I needed to cut the PVC and have as little waste PVC as possible. I then measured, marked, and cut each section that I needed. Now that everything's cut out, it's time to assemble the enclosure. Normally, I would use PVC cement and primer to keep this together, but I want to be able to store this easily, so friction fitting it together is enough and will work just fine. I needed to know how much plastic sheeting I would need to cover this enclosure, so I measured up one side, across the top, and down the other. I then took that measurement, marked it on the plastic sheet, and cut it out. I unfolded and placed the plastic sheeting meant to cover the left, top, and right side. To hold it in place, 
I used some duct tape and folded it over on itself to keep it together. I then unfolded and placed the piece of plastic sheeting meant to cover the back, top, and front. And for this section, I would only be taping along the back seams and along the sides. If you have Velcro, here's where you're going to want to use it. I didn't want to have to lift off the enclosure or tuck my head underneath to see the print running. So I added Velcro dots to the left side and tape on the right side. That way I could lift the panel up and see everything I needed to. And that's it. A super simple, super quick way to keep the heat in and save your ABS prints for a total cost of about $25. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about 3D printing, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.